Hey everybody, uh, good to speak with you again in whatever fashion this particular time allows us. Uh, I wanted to share with you today a story from the Taittiriya Upanishad. Uh, it's the story of Brigu, a young man who approaches his father, who is a guru, um, to ask him to impart this, the knowledge of Brahman, of the divine reality. So he properly approaches his father as a, as a student. And his father says to him, matter, life, eye and ear, mind and speech. And then he says to him further, that from which beings are born, that by which they live, and that into which they enter when they depart, that is what you should seek to know, that is Brahman. And so his son went off and performed uh, meditation on this idea. And he realized that matter itself is Brahman, because from matter, beings are born. By matter, do they live? And then they enter back into matter when they pass on. But he went back to his father one more time and says, Father, teach me about Brahman. And his father says, perform a deeper meditation. Meditation itself is Brahman. And so the son went away again, and he meditated further, and he realized that the life breath is Brahman, because all beings are born from the life breath. By the breath they live, and into breath they depart when they leave. And so again he went to his father and said, Father, teach me more about Brahman. And his father said, meditate upon this. Meditation itself is Brahman. And so the son went away again, and he meditated further. And having meditated, he realized that mind is Brahman, because all beings, when they are born, are born from mind. By mind they live, and into mind they enter when they pass on. And so he went one more time to his father and said, Father, Teach me about Brahman. And his father says, Meditate upon this. Meditation itself is Brahman. And so the son goes away and meditates again. And in his meditation, he sees that intelligence itself is Brahman. Because all beings are born out of intelligence, they live by intelligence, and when they depart, they enter back into the grand intelligence. And so he went to his father again and said, Father, teach me about Brahman. And his father said, meditate upon Brahman. Brahman itself is meditation. And so the son went away again and meditated. And having meditated, he realized that bliss is meditation. Excuse me, bliss is Brahman. Because all beings are born from bliss, by bliss they live, and into bliss they enter when they pass on. So, um, here's hoping there is some bliss in your life at present. We will see each other again soon. Um, we are thinking of you here in Olima.